ओके सो हितेश लेट्स प्रोसीड अहेड विद योर स्नैप फॉर मटेरियल मैनेजर पोस्ट इन एनएमडीसी राइट यस ओके सो लेट मी आस्क यू हितेश यू हैव ऑलरेडी वर्क इन सप्लाई चेन डोमेन राइट यस हाउ सप्लाई चेन इज रिलेटेड टू मटेरियल मैनेजमेंट सो मटेरियल मैनेजमेंट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ सप्लाई चेन मैनेजमेंट uh in case of uh, a manufacturing sector so we need raw materials or equipments for production so in this case of material management uh we uh, do two two things uh, especially one is procurement and secondary is uh, inventory optimization or inventory management but supply chain management is also related to delivery of the system to the, the end consumers along with uh, material management plus it is a bigger part so i can say that material management is a sub- subset of supply chain management so when we say procurement uh, do we consider the vendor or supplier also in the process yes sir from whom we procure the material right yes sir now how do you choose the vendor or supplier and how do you ensure the quality of the product you are procuring yes so first of all uh, i get a uh, order uh, that is uh, uh, from material control section that what are the in case of mining i am saying uh, this is suppose for uh, nmdc uh, we need certain certain components we got get that order and first we uh, see that what are the existing vendors in our case then we uh, call for a competitive bidding process that is a tender and uh, then we see that uh, which is the vendor who is providing us the proper quality material with least amount of uh, money so we have to see the trade off between the quality and uh, uh, the m- money at which they are offering and based on that we have to take it call decision okay so so what do you understand by bidding process and how it is related to tendering um uh, bidding process uh, no idea sir A detail idea is not there uh but i will say that uh, we have to analyze the cost benefit uh, in this case and uh, find out so how do you do cost benefit analysis and what is the meaning of cost benefit analysis the so cost benefit analysis is uh, uh, the amount of benefit which we are getting by uh, uh investing some uh, investing in a particular thing like suppose uh, i am uh, manufacturing a product so what are what are the benefits i will get from that uh, suppose i am delivering it to a customer at a particular time so i will get customer satisfaction and uh, uh, i will get uh, money or uh, my uh, my uh, like uh, my turnover of the company will increase uh, so these are the benefits suppose and uh, what are the investment i am doing in this case what are the employment employee salary training and what are the market research i am doing and what are the uh, cost for the materials uh, so all these things are a uh, cost and uh, what are the final benefit which i got that is not only t- intangible benefit also intangible benefit like customer okay. satisfaction and all okay hitesh uh, do you know what is opportunity cost yes sir yeah so uh, opportunity cost in economy is uh, suppose i have uh, many options and i uh, from th- those options i selected one so what is uh, the like what is the if i would have selected other options uh, then what is the benefit i would have got uh, like give this the example is, give real life example yes sir uh, uh, suppose i have uh, two pens uh, uh, so i suppose i want to purchase a pen uh, i want to i went to a shop and i saw there are uh, two different companies uh, um, two different brands of uh, pens and uh, they are different features so suppose i purchased a gel pen uh, and it cost me around uh, 30 rupees and uh, there is other pen uh, which is uh, uh, so some normal pen which is of uh, 5 uh, 5 rupees uh, but uh, if i use that suppose i am using this gel pen and it goes for uh, around 6 uh, months uh, and uh, this uh, ball pen which i am using if it goes for uh, suppose 4 months uh, and finally uh, Uh, and uh, if i get uh, six ball pens of that time it can go get for my two years so i finally i will see that uh, 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 the buying a single uh, uh, gel pen is uh, less uh, like less profit uh, profitable for me the, rather than buying six uh, ball pen um, and also because quality also i have to check in this case 
So Hitesh, uh, yeah, tell me what do you understand by logistics and how it is related to supply chain management? So uh, logistics is uh, especially uh, there are two components of the logistics. Uh, it is uh, mostly transportation and uh, also inventory management. You know, like now definition. what is tangible and intangible products? So tangible means the uh, and touch or what whatever uh, we can sew in balance sheet and intangible things we can see like. Uh, the employee satisfaction and uh, the company's brand name increasing, customers are satisfied. These are all intangible ben uh, benefits. Okay. So, uh, can you tell me the most uh, crucial part of supply chain? Yes. Sir. So, supply chain, uh, the most crucial part is uh, this demand planning. So, based on demand planning only, all rest things are dependent on. This is a starting point, based, uh, and uh, after that, things go on. Okay. So, can you tell me the most challenging part for a material manager? So, material manager, uh, the most critical part is vendor management, and to decide uh, which vendor, uh, like, uh, to decide which vendor to be selected, and uh, whether he can provide us a proper qualitative product and with a proper cost. Okay, now let me give you Hitesh the feedback. See, I'm having this material management uh, with others also, like just now Koshik and now Weber. So listen to the questions of others also, right? We will have some more than 10 snaps of material management, so that will cover more or less all questions. With you, I asked you about uh, uh, the uh, what do you understand by logistics and supply chain. Logistics actually is the management of the flow of the uh, material, you know. Uh, the document which I have provided it is already there, mentioned in detail, and I will provide you some more documents also. So, logistic is nothing but it is related to management of the flow of the things. Flow of the things means raw material to finished product, everything. That flow, yes, maintaining the proper flow is the most challenging task of material manager. You know, when you yes. have to maintain the flow, you have to talk to different stakeholders, stakeholders who are involved in this entire process, starting from the supplier, starting from the vendor to the customer, you need to maintain the flow. And it should not uh, yeah. stop. You no, know, maintain the flow, maintaining proper quality without uh, incurring more expenditure. You are not to spend more. So maintaining inventory cost you something. So you have to maintain the minimum inventory and ensure the yeah. smooth flow. And that is the most challenging task for manager. So what kind of traits of manager come forward, I mean, are helpful is collaboration skills, coordination skills, time management, you know, so that particular thing is required in the material manager. I will be discussing later on that what trades are required in material manager. He will say, sir, he should be a person with the uh, very good time management skills, the coordination skills, collaboration skills, because he's to get work done from others, collaborate with others, coordinate with others. So that particular part is required. Dealing with others, he should be good in dealing with others, you know, getting along with others, suppliers, vendors, and customers and everything. So that is the most challenging task. Logistics, supply chain management, bahut bada domain hai. Supply chain mein apne job bhi hai. That is a very big domain. Cost benefit analysis. So if we uh, want to take a decision, we'll see what is the cost incurred, what is the benefit. So cost and in, in, incurred is thousand rupees. Benefit will be fifteen hundred rupees. We'll take a call. We'll go for that. Cost benefit analysis. And that is not always in a monetary term. It can be in other terms like reputation of the company. It can be in that term also. Yes. Now, what is the opportunity cost is like it is related to the cost associated with loss of opportunity cost associated with loss of opportunity. Loss of opportunity. You purchase this pen today, you get it a hundred rupees. You purchase tomorrow, you get 150 rupees. Somehow you miss today because today was the, uh, I think, mm -hmm. promotional mm -hmm. discount. Diya tha. You miss yes, it. Yes. Tomorrow you purchase 150. 50 rupees is the opportunity cost. 100 rupees ka pen, 150 mil gaya. Why? Because you could not seize the opportunity. 50 rupees is opportunity cost. So this way you need to be very, very precise in answering your questions. Right, Hitesh? Yes, go through yes, the document, sir. go through each and every snap, yours and others also. Material management is very simple domain. We can predict all the questions, not a problem. Tendering, yes, contracts, these things are also to be added, which is not provided in document so far, but we will do that. Yes, sir. And Hitesh? Yes.